Hi, my name is Cassie, and I'm a product marketing manager here at Owl Cyber Defense. And I'm Phil. I'm the product manager for the OPDS 100D at Owl. And today, Phil and I will be educating you on the OPDS 100D, which is Owl's compact multi-purpose data diode that is specifically designed for industrial and harsh environments. So Phil, what is the purpose of the OPDS 100D? Why was it developed and what was it designed for? The OPDS 100D is a compact data diode uh, designed to physically only allow data to travel in one direction. Um, it's typically deployed at the edge of an OT network and protects uh, the industrial facilities from external threats. And you mentioned that the OPDS 100D only allows data to travel in one direction. So how does this work and what is the OPDS 100D protecting in more detail? Sure. Uh, on the source side of the data diode, there is a light transmitter. And on the destination side of the data diode, there is a light receiver uh, with a air gap between the source and the destination side. And uh, because there is no uh, equipment on the source side to receive and no requi uh, equipment on the destination side to transmit, data is guaranteed to flow only from the source to the destination side and not reverse. Right. And as uh, as uh, mentioned, some of the uh, the industrial facilities that it would protect would be, you know, a substation, oil and gas plants, water utility uh, plants, and the uh, pumps, turbines, and other equipment uh, in, in those uh, facilities. And you mentioned that the OPDS 100D is extremely compact. And I know that there's this common misconception about data diodes in the market that they consist of multiple and separate pieces of hardware. Is this true for the OPDS 100D? Uh, no, that is not true at all for the OPDS 100D. Um, here is the 100D, and as you can see, it's one device, not four pieces of it uh, mm -hmm. of hardware. Well, that's great to hear that it's a single piece of hardware, and customers don't have to worry about multiple components. So, what are the dimensions of the device? Uh, the uh, 100D, as you can see, um, was really designed for the industrial and uh, harsh equipments and includes a built-in DIN rail clip uh, for easy and quick installation. The dimensions are roughly 2 by 6 by 5.5 inches. Uh, the weight is roughly 2.5 pounds and the input voltage through the Phoenix connector is 9 to 36 volts DC with an estimated operating usage of uh, 10 to 15 watts per side. And the RJ45 Ethernet in, uh, interfaces are available for the source and destination side. Yeah, that is extremely compact and lightweight. And what are the different power supply options for this device? So the power to the device is supplied through the two Phoenix connectors that I pointed out uh, before. Mm -hmm. um, the power supply is assumed to be available at the site. So one is not supplied with the 100D. However, an optional AC power brick is available for an additional cost, and that would help in the initial product evaluation and setup phase. Right. And you mentioned that the OPDS 100D was specifically developed for harsh environments. So what is the temperature range that this device supports? So the harsh environmental conditions uh, for the 100D, um, it would, uh, the device will support an operating temperature range down to minus 40 degrees C up to 60 degrees C. And um, it also has anti-shock and vibration capabilities as well. And I know that we have some customers that are in the oil and gas industry, for example. So this is a great product fit for them because of the harsh environments that they have to withstand. And on another note, our customers come to us with a variety of throughput needs depending on their environment. So what throughputs does the OPDS 100D support? And what if those needs increase over time? So we have designed a solution to allow our customers to easily upgrade their device throughput capacity with the application of a simple software license key. 
So the customer can select from starting point of five megabits per second, uh, step through uh, 10 megabits, 26, 52, or 104 megabits uh, per second for their starting configuration. And then they can upgrade like within minutes if their data transfer requirements increases over time. That's great because it makes it super easy for our customers to be able to upgrade in real time and not have to rely on any wait period. And compared to the Diodo, which is our most affordable data diode that only supports one data stream at a time, how does this product compare and how many data streams does it support? Yeah, so that's a gr gr great way to distinguish uh, between the Diodo and the 100D. The 100D supports multiple concurrent data streams and the actual number of supported data streams will depend on the customer's uh, protocols and the amount of data being transferred by each stream. And our sales engineers are ready to discuss your use cases to determine what the best product fit is. And does the 100D support multiple protocols at a time as well? Yes, yes. Um, okay. uh, so the Diota is a single stream, the 100D as well as the rest of our PDS product line does support multiple. Okay, and I know we're seeing a lot of customers using some commonly used protocols like Modbus and OPC. So what are the other protocols that this device supports? Right, so as you pointed out, the two of my, uh, most widely used are Modbus and OPC, but the 100D also supports um, protocols like email, uh, FTP, SFTP, uh, remote file transfers as far as uh, um, alarms and events, um, the SIM data, uh, SNMP traps, syslog messages, uh, remote HMI screen replication, and uh, like all our products, it supports uh, TCP transfers and UTP trans UDP transfers, both unicast and multicast. And what about historians? Does it support that? Uh, no, so the 100D is not intended to support historian, um, just like the Diota doesn't support uh, historians. However, uh, the rest of our product line, like the OPDS 100, the OPDS 1000, and EPDS systems do support historians like the commonly used uh, OSI Pi and others. Okay. And we are seeing customers who, for example, have a need to transfer SIM data. Some customers need to remotely screen into their OT network. So what are some other common use cases that you're seeing? Sure, uh, what we find is that the use cases seem to really uh, apply across the different market verticals, whether it's, uh, you know, power transmission, oil and gas, you know, water utilities, nuclear, what have you. Um, the most commonly used use cases across um, the bulk of our customers are syslog messages, uh, SNMP traps, uh, email and file transfers, which, you know, you can classify as alarm and events data. Okay, yeah, I know we have a variety of different use cases that our customers are applying this to. And I know that there is this common misconception that network security solutions require a ton of maintenance and upkeep. So what should our customers expect, no matter their use case, in terms of maintenance and the device lifespan with the 100D? Yeah, I think this is a great point. Uh, the key advantage of our solutions is that once they are set up and configured properly, our customers hardly have to touch them again. So the maintenance and operational costs are very low. Uh, also, uh, our products have a very long mean time between failures, um, ranging in, uh, from 10 years up to uh, 14 years. Okay, great. And is that the case for all of Owl's data diodes? That's right. Uh, um, all of our uh, data diodes are designed to have a long uh, mean time between failures uh, so that uh, the equipment that uh, our data diodes are designed to protect, which also have a long, uh, you know, uh, life cycle, mm -hmm. um, go well in uh, hand in hand with, with our products. Right. And why would someone choose the OPDS 100D over another OWL data diode? How do they know that the 100D is the best fit for their use case? Uh, the uniqueness of the 100D versus the rest of our product line is one, the industrial uh, design, right? Uh, it, it operates in a harsh environment, 
-hmm. Also the compact form factor. Um, so some of our customers don't have in their industrial facility the room to put a one new uh, rack uh, a type of an appliance in there. So uh, the combination of the small size, weight and power uh, with the multiple functionality uh, and, and uh, the ability to support a lot of industrial protocols would make the 100D the best fit for that, that use case. Well, thanks, Phil, for sharing all of those details around the OPDS 100D. And I just want to summarize everything that you just described. So the OPDS 100D is an extremely compact but powerful data diode that can withstand harsh environments as well as support multiple data streams and protocols at a time. And the OPDS 100D grows with your operational needs as your throughput requirements change and increase and allows customers to easily upgrade with a software license. Is there anything additional that you would like to mention or add about the OPDS 100D before we close out today? Well, I think you did a great job summarizing the, uh, the primary benefits. I do want to point out that the 100D is not the only product, so we have a full range of, of solutions that could meet your needs. So um, we are uh, engineers as well as myself would be glad to uh, start a conversation with you and, and figure out what the best fit is. Great. Thanks, Phil. Well, that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching our OPDS 100D video. And if you're interested in getting a demo from our sales team or getting a free proof of concept of OPDS 100D in your lab, you can reach out to our team directly on owlcyberdefense.com. And we do have a 24 seven live chat as well as a contact us page on our site. So you can reach out to our team through there. Check out our YouTube channel for upcoming videos of our other solutions to find the best solution for your use case. And follow us on social media to stay connected with us to see all of our new content and videos moving forward. Thank you for watching. Thank you.